Hey everybody, Corey here coming at you with another quick knife review video. Today we are taking a look at the Microtech Ultratech. So if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you might be saying, hmm, that doesn't look like something that Corey would normally be interested in. And you know what? On most accounts, you're right. Um, this is really something, I'm just kind of scratching an itch here. Um, I think every knife enthusiast, even if they're usually into like folders, um, they're, they're a little bit intrigued by out the fronts because they, they look like they're fun to fidget with. You kind of want to understand what the hype is. And in Microtech specifically as a brand, there's just a lot of hype around Microtech, right? They're like the kings of the OTF world. So yeah, it's not really my speed normally, but it is something I've been meaning to check out. I got it for a good price. It is what it is. Now, this is going to be different than my normal reviews because this is not a folding knife, right? This is kind of being reviewed in a vacuum and from the perspective of someone who certainly is not an expert on out-the-front knives. That being said, um, compared to other pocket knives, I, I, I think there are some good things to talk about and maybe to, to help you consider why are you buying an out-the-front? Why do you want an out-the-front? So, so let's just get into that. Um, this is going to be bad. I, I'm going to start with the thing that annoys me the most, but it's this thing that we have to talk about because it's an out the front. The action, right? If you want the, the knife to be deployed, you push this button forward or you pull it backwards because it's double action, the knife will come out, the knife will go in. Let's, let's do that real quick. Okay, I'm only going to do that once. We'll talk about why. This button, oh my goodness, Microtech. So people make jokes about having what's called Microtech thumb, which is where your thumb gets all chewed up and calloused, and you can see that mine's already kind of, uh, already kind of getting there. It's kind of hard to see, but it hurts. It's just, it's uncomfortable. The machining is very aggressive. In my opinion, the shape of the button isn't fantastic. Here's what I want to say, okay? If you like one hand opening and all that stuff, maybe consider a compression lock. Maybe consider uh, an axis lock. You don't want your hands in the way of the blade, you know, whatever the case might be, right? This isn't doing anything that folding knives can't really do. Um, but for me, one of the things that I was interested in in buying this was, um, if I'm being completely honest, I wanted a fidget toy. I wanted to go clicky clacky while I was sitting on the couch and you know whenever I get bored I just wanted to go out and in and out and in and, and I thought it would be fun. This is painful, okay? The spring tension that is holding this knife in place, the spring tension that you need to overcome on the inside to deploy the knife and to retract the knife is so high coupled with the sharp machining on the grooves on the button. Someone in the comments is going to say, Corey, you're just a little bitch. I have talked to other people with much more calloused hands than I, um, Tyler over at Everyday EDC, for example, and he said, oh no, I can, only, I can only actuate that in and out about four times before my thumb just gives out. If you're looking for a toy, in all honesty, be honest with yourself, you're looking for a toy, this is not your toy. This is a knife. This is a knife before it's a toy. It is not comfortable to play with. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? The button is uncomfortable. Now, now that we've gotten out of the way, it's not a toy. Let's talk about how it is as a knife. Well, it's an OTF. So it has side to side. It has front to back blade play. You can even kind of tug it out a little bit because that's how much more give the spring has. Um, but again, we're not, we're not really buying an OTF for tightness. We're just kind of buying it because we need a knife. And for some reason, we are drawn to it. The handle is, it's just a stick straight handle. There's technically a little bit of contouring down here. Um, it's, it's not particularly comfortable. Where you're going to be resting your thumb when you're cutting things is literally just on that button. We've already dis discussed that the button is, is straight up uncomfortable. Um, I will say the fit and finish in terms of the blade, I sharpened this and this was the easiest knife I've sharpened in a very long time. The secondary bevel was extremely consistent and I can appreciate that because it tells me that Microtech is doing what they're supposed to be doing. While we're talking about the blade, this might be a little hard to show on this camera. Okay, so it's not. So you can see that from the heel to the tip, it actually widens out up here. This knife is surprisingly robust. Obviously, that's a very thin blade. It's relatively thick blade stock. It's not the sliciest knife in the world, 
but it is extremely robust and it can take more abuse than it should be able to because they keep it so thick out by the tip. I can't fathom what you would be using this for to where you would need that, but this thing is not going to snap in half on you, okay? Um, there was actually a Blade HQ video where a Marine took one of these out and he was like batoning with it, okay? I'm not saying baton with it. I'm just saying that's kind of impressive, especially for an OTF. Um, the warranty is void if you disassemble the knife. This is stated directly on Microtech's warranty form, so I'll just say that. Um, if you're a fan of playing with your knives, taking them apart, seeing how they work, you're going to void your warranty. I don't know how they'd be able to tell that you took it apart unless you screwed it up and couldn't put it back together, um, but I just want to put that out there. As a knife, I'm going to be honest, here's the takeaway. I don't get it. I don't understand it, at least compared to other options that are out there. For an OTF, I would think, oh, maybe the fun of the OTF is deploying it and retracting it. You got that spring, you get to feel like a cool guy in the movies, but they make it uncomfortable with this knife, so that's not the case. Um, if you're looking for a knife that is extremely tight, well, it's an OTF, so it's always gonna have blade play in literally every single direction. Um, so there's that. If you're looking for the most robust knife in the world, if you want to go baton with something, well, then you're better off having a fixed blade. Um, I, I just don't, and please say something in the comments. I don't understand what this OTF or any OTF does better than all the other folding knives out there on the market. The other knives have more ergonomic handles, they have better blade grinds, uh, they have more functional blade grinds and blade shapes, they have more functional ways to actuate them, they have more functional ways to disengage them. Don't get me wrong, this is cool, but it feels very much like a novelty because it doesn't, it'll never have the best ergos, it'll never have the best tightness, it'll never have the best action, it'll never be the most fun to fidget with. Honestly, what this has, in my opinion, it's just cool. It's cool. It's It's got a, a big hefty spring and it makes people go, whoa, whoa, you know, and if, and if you get a kick out of making people go, whoa, whoa, isn't that illegal? Which, by the way, they are in, in a lot of states, not Michigan, but, you know, a lot of states. Um, it really feels more like a novelty. That being said, it's it's up to you if you want to spend 300 bucks on a novelty, um, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not crapping on it. Um, I can't compare it to the folders because it's not a folder, right? The, the things like the blade play, that's just inherent to an out the front knife. The things like the ergos, it's a straight blade, it has to retract into the knife. You can't have a curved handle with, with an action that just goes in a, in a vertical line. It, it just doesn't make sense, right? So, um, I personally, I enjoy carrying this because it's just easy and it's fun, um, but it's just not the best knife I own in any regard. So that's what I have to say. If you are interested in out the front or a Microtech because you want the brand name, you think it's cool, you, 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 you want the novelty, you want to occasionally make it, make it kind of thwack, um, Go for it. It's it's probably the best uh, OTF brand you're gonna get. But that being said, it's still even being you know the leader in OTFs. I, I don't really get it. I'll probably keep it just so I can have one OTF and I got it at a good deal. But other than that, please again, like I said, for me doesn't beat any of my other knives by any stretch of the imagination. It's very much a novelty. I am very interested. If you are an OTF user, please leave a comment. Help me understand. Tell me what it is you love about them so much. Because honestly, um, as a knife, I don't get it. As a toy, I kind of get it. But as a knife, I don't get it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. I will see you next time.